Lord Jesus, thank you. Father, we thank you that, oh, what love, how can it be? God, you're just so loving and gracious to us, and we appreciate it so much, God. And we acknowledge, Father, not just your presence and preeminence and praise you for it, God. Lord, we, we acknowledge your power. Lord, we thank you that you are not just a powerful God. Lord, you're, you have purposes for our lives. And God, even as Moses has prayed, to stretch out your hand, God, that you're so powerful, Lord, that you're able to swallow your enemies. And Father, we trust in that power to protect us, to provide for us. And Lord, we thank you for your purposes in our lives, that you will teach us your ways, that we will know and continue to find favor in you. And God, even as we learn how to pray vertically, acknowledging your presence, preeminence, and praise you, Father, and acknowledging your power and your purpose of our lives. Lord, we pray for our needs. We pray for your provision. We pray for your peace. And we pray for your protection. God, even as Moses cried out to you when there were days when they could not find water and the water they found was bitter, Lord, and he prayed and he cried out for provision. Your word says that you showed him a piece of wood and he threw it in the water and the water became drinkable. God, thank you that you are the God of provision who provides for us in the midst of turmoil. And so, Lord, we trust you that even not just water that you provided for the people or for your people while they were in the journey outside of Egypt, God, you provided even manna and even quail and you gave them peace and you protected them in the midst of all the calamities and the plagues. This is our prayer today, in Jesus' name, amen.